Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Psalms chapter 28, a Psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up mine hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked, and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to, the, to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their de desert, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Chapter 29 A Psalm of David Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory of the God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Sirion like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hints of the, the calves, and discovereth the forests. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Chapter 30 A Psalm and Song of the Dedication of the House of David I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast made, hast not made my force to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, and I shall not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, all ye saints of his, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in, the, in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide my face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall, I, shall it declare thy truth? Hear me, hear, O God, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness, to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Chapter 30 To the Chief Musician, A Psalm of David In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for an ounce of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regarded lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. For thou hast considered my trouble, thou hast known my soul in adversities. 
and hast not shut up shut me up into the hand of the enemy thou hast set my feet in a large room have mercy upon me o lord for i am in trouble mine eye is consumed with grief yea my soul and my belly for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing my strength faileth because of mine iniquity and my bones are consumed i was a reproach among all mine enemies but especially among my neighbors and a fear to mine acquaintance they that did see me without fled from me i'm forgotten as a dead man out of mind i am like a broken vessel for i have heard the slander of many fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me they devised to take away my life but i trusted in thee o lord i said thou art my god many times are in thy hand deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me make thy face to shine upon thy servant save me from thy mercy's sake for thy mercy's sake let me not be ashamed o lord for i have called upon thee let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave let the lying lips be put to silence which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous o oh, how great is thy goodness which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife strife of tongues blessed be the lord for he hath shewed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city for i said in my haste i am cut off from before thine eyes nevertheless thou hadest the voice of my supplications when i cried unto thee o love the lord all ye his saints for the lord preserves the faithful and plentifully rewarded the proud doer be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart and all ye that hope in the lord Chapter thirty two, a psalm of David, Mashiel. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit where is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me; my moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin unto thee and mine iniquity have I not hid I said I will confess my transgression unto the Lord and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin Salah For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him Thou art my hiding place thou shall preserve me from trouble thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance sala i will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go i will guide thee with mine eye be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle lest thy come near unto thee many sorrows shall be to the wicked but he that trusteth in the lord mercy shall compass him about Be glad in the Lord and rejoice ye righteous and shout for joy all ye that are upright in in heart Chapter 33 I rejoice in the Lord Rejoice in the Lord all ye righteous for praise is comely for the upright Praise the Lord with hump sing unto him with a psaltery and an instrument of 10 strings sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise for the word of the lord is right and all his works are done in truth he loveth righteousness and judgment the earth is full of the goodness of the lord by the word of the lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth he gathereth the waters of the sea together as an heap he layeth up the depth in storehouses let all the earth fear the lord let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him fear for he spake and it was done he commanded and it stood fast the lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught he maketh the devices of the people of of none effect the counsel of the lord standeth forever the thoughts of his heart to all generations blessed is the nation whose god is the lord and the people 
whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioneth their hearts alike, he considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. An horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver him to, the, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our helper and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Chapter 34 A Psalm of David when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto me, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encompassed round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack, and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking will. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon the are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of broken heart, and saved such as be of contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Chapter 35 A Psalm of David Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strife with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame, that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion, that devise my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause, have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee? which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to, to my charge things that I know not. They rewarded me evil for good, to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. 
but in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in fists, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling, from the loins. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. our eye has seen, has seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silent, O Lord. Be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake for my judgment, even unto my cause. My God and my Lord, judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them not let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine heart. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. We're going to be stopping here today. Next time we're going to be starting from Psalms chapter 36. I'll see you then.